Oregon is known around the world for its mountains, but in rural Northeastern Oregon, the Wallowa Mountains feel like something of a hidden gem. Nestled at the base of the mountain range is Joseph, a charming little town that offers easy access to the surrounding peaks, as well as some can't miss attractions of its own. I'm Jamie Hale, the Oregonian's travel writer and host of Peak Northwest. This summer, I decided to spend a few days exploring Joseph, making the long drive east from Portland and pulling into town with a few hours of daylight to spare. So we just arrived in Joseph after a five and a half hour drive from Portland. We're staying the night here at the Jennings Hotel, which was first built in 1910. And since 2015, they've been renovating into a really cool boutique hotel right here in downtown Joseph with some amazing mountain views. What had previously been known as simply the Jennings Building was purchased by its current owners in 2014. They converted it from a rundown apartment building into what they now describe as equal parts accommodation and art project. One of the things I love about this place is this communal area where there's a kitchen where you can make your own meals, there's a table where you can do whatever you want at a table, there's a record player, there's books, as a spot for people to come together. And that's kind of really the part of what the Jennings is all about. So most of these rooms have a pretty minimalist design and they're all also a little bit different from each other. So this is not for someone who's looking for all of the amenities of a hotel, but for someone who just wants a nice, cute place to stay, this is a really nice spot. The day was already starting to wind down, but we realized we could still squeeze in a quick visit to one of Joseph's main attractions. So we're gonna drive just a few minutes to the end of town to Wallawa Lake, which is one of, I think, the most scenic lakes in Oregon. And the views just driving there are absolutely incredible. Wallawa Lake may well be one of the most beautiful sights in Oregon, and I couldn't miss the chance to see it as the sun was going down. So we're here at Wallawa Lake, just at the foot of the Wallawa Mountains. Wow. And this is a really special spot, not just because it's a really beautiful place with these mountain views overlooking the lake, because it's also really geologically interesting, I think. The lake was created by a glacier that was moving down off the mountains. As it did, it pushed up the land out of its way. And then when the glacier melted, it made this lake. Standing beside the beautiful lake at dusk, with the mountain peaks rising above, I began to relax after a long day on the road. It really is just such a magical spot. Soaking in the beauty of this place filled me with anticipation for what the days ahead would bring. So we're gonna head back into town, go back to the hotel and get some good sleep after this long day to get up here. But more adventures to come tomorrow. Joseph has plenty of options for traditional breakfast spots, but sometimes I like to go for something a little less conventional to kick my day into gear. So we're here at Arrowhead Chocolates in downtown Joseph. It's one of the best little chocolate shops in this part of the state. I've been here before and I already have a few favorites. I'm super excited to try those and some new flavors. All right, let's check out what we got. I ordered a handful of flavors to try, but was most excited about one in particular. All right, this one's got, the chocolate's almost like in the shape of an H, so I'm wondering if that's the huckleberry, and that's like a really subtle way to tell us what flavor. We'll see. Mmm, mm-hmm, huckleberry. Well, that's really good. I feel like huckleberry is the kind of flavor you get in this region of the country especially. Not really very many other places, and it's so good. The other flavors were great too, but like any good Northwesterner, my heart belongs to the huckleberry. Something about that nice fruity sweetness inside that good chocolate truffle. You can't beat it, you just can't. So we're here on the southern end of Wallawa Lake, just outside of Joseph, where we have a lot of resorts, campgrounds, and one of the best attractions in town, the Wallawa Lake Tramway, which will take you up to some stunning views of the mountains. So we're gonna check it out ourselves. At $40, the ride's not exactly cheap, but it is an experience you just can't get anywhere else. 
The tramway was built in 1970, and at the time was the steepest vertical lift for a four-passenger gondola in all of North America. It takes you from a height of around 4,000 feet above sea level to more than 8,000 feet at the top of Mount Howard. And there's a lot more to see once you get up there. The tram was awesome. Great views of the lake, great views of the mountains. And here at the top, we've got more good views, plus a restaurant, plus trails. So we are gonna go check out a little bit more here at the top. The first thing you'll notice after exiting the tram is the Summit Grill, which bills itself as the Northwest's highest restaurant. We popped in for lunch and the food was pretty good, especially the cobbler I had for dessert. Nothing like a cobbler in the mountains, huh? Mm -hmm. Good food, good views. And I could stay up here forever. But of course, we couldn't do that. Trails radiate out from the tram station, which meant it was time to do some exploring. Wow. Look at this, this is amazing. They call the Wallawas the Swiss Alps of Oregon, and you can see why. I mean, this just beautiful mountain range, you feel like you're just immersed in it. It's incredible. Before we turned around to head back down the mountain, I gave myself some time to sit down and take it all in, allowing a sense of awe to wash over me. That feeling is humbling and something you can really only find in a place like this, where big views have a way of making you feel small. So we're here at the old Chief Joseph gravesite, the site where Chief Joseph the Elder is buried. His remains were moved here in 1926. He was one of the first people in the Nez Perce tribe to really stand up to the white colonizers of this area after they shrank down the reservation of his Nez Perce tribe significantly. His son, uh, Chief Joseph the Younger, was known for a big stand against the U.S. Army, fleeing from this site in the Wallawas up into Idaho when they were evicted from their reservation. This is obviously a sacred site and a really special spot with both cultural and historic significance and a place where a lot of people like to come and pay their respects. So we're here at the Wallawa Lake Trailhead, one of the most popular places to enter into the Eagle Cap Wilderness. That's the wilderness area that is in the Wallawa Mountains here, just south of Joseph. A really popular spot for backpacking, horseback riding, and day hiking, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Just diving into the Wallawas, checking out a little bit of the trails, no real plan in mind. I like this as an area where you can kind of wander aimlessly and just spend a couple hours enjoying the scenery. You have to fill out a free permit before hitting the trails. That helps officials know who's in the area just in case they have to go out looking for you. Once that was taken care of, we headed up the West Fork Trail toward Ice Lake. With no specific agenda in mind, my only concern was absorbing as much beauty and serenity from the area as I could. We got some Wallawa Mountain Peaks peeking over the trees here. Very exciting. We continued along the trail until we came to a narrow log bridge over a roaring mountain river, swollen with fresh runoff from the fields of snow above. It's just so nice to be out here, you know, sitting by this rushing river in the mountains, surrounded by trees and butterflies and birds. You know, it's, I think, really difficult to be a human being sometimes, especially in the city, in our world and coming out here and just allowing some of that stuff to just release, you know, into the river, into the sky, into the trees. It's just a really beautiful and I think important action to do for ourselves and for each other. And just like that, it was time to start thinking about heading home. We followed the trail back to the car and pointed it in the direction of the Jennings Hotel. That night, we met up with some friends who live in the area for a fittingly spectacular meal at a great local pizza joint. The bounty that awaited us at the Gold Room was a fitting metaphor for all we had enjoyed in Joseph and the Wallawa Mountains. As we feasted on appetizers, cocktails, and of course, pizza, we talked about adventures new and old and what we had planned for our next visit to town. 
Because one thing we all agreed on was that a few days was not nearly enough to fully experience the beauty of this place.